my fellow souls. How are y'all doing? Hope everyone's doing really good. I'm messing with the microphone right the second. There we go. Hopefully you can hear me well. Um, I didn't exactly, I, I wasn't prepared to do this. But <clears throat> once again, I pull a card and I think I'm just going to go ahead and read just for my own reading thing and pleasure and and then no no then I get oh you should record this because okay so what I've been thinking about is a heart of the matter reading well so I took my um, the character oracle and just pull one of them see which direction I should go on this reading and uh, I get the journalist. Chronicle of stories, chronicler of stories, reporting, interview, inquiry, promotion. And then the unseen energy there at the bottom of the deck is the butcher. Ruthless, cruelty, slaughter. Boy, howdy, huh? Yeah. Okay, so. So, anyway, so then I shuffled it, and I'm using the uh, Tarot of Oppositions deck. And so the first card up, and I'm going to go ahead and pull 10. In the heart of the matter here is the Eight of Swords reversed. Reversed. Yeah. Look at that. So, so we're talking about journalists here. So, Eight of Swords reversed. Yeah, here's the message. And I'm reading them out of the book because uh, I like, I like the their wording. I, I like it real well. So, the Guardian's message here for the Eight of Swords reversed for the journalists. Are you a prisoner of your own mind? Be honest and try to understand if the causes of your pain are inside you. Come out of the darkness of sadness and fear. Seek the guidance you need to look within. Make, fa make painful decisions and grow. Oh yeah. So, you see the you know, most of us know, I think, that the, the journalists, the reporters, this is why the freedom of speech, that is the first article in our Bill of Rights. <coughs> and the fourth guardrail to the Constitution are the reporters, the journalists of United States. And frankly, well, yeah, we all know they've been doing a not so shiny job. Challenging energy? Oh my. <laughs> we have the King of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed. Okay, let's see. What See what the book says here. So the challenge, the challenging energy here for the journalists. There are many roads ahead of you that lead to confrontation, to the use of force and power. Others may coerce you into lying, overthinking, and revenge. The times are not favorable for people of heart, but spiritual laws remind us that those who use cunning and duplicity will have to be responsible for the consequences. Use reason, but also listen with your soul. Mm -mm -mm. Big message coming through. Big message. 
Okay, so the underlying energy here. Oh, wow. We've got the devil reversed. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, the devil. Devil reversed. The underlying energy. Okay. Hold on just a second here. I'm going to read what the guardians have given us. The devil. Got it. Here we go. I'm going to read the entire thing. Okay. To better understand light and faith, you must travel in darkness and despair. You must lose your sense of right to find it again. The devil tests you, seduces you, gives you much and takes away much. You have knowledge of the night uh, uh, of the right I I'm sorry. Yeah, it does say that. You have knowledge of the night ideas that others reject. You do things that many people don't even dare to think of. Push to extremes, this could cost you dearly in terms of mental health and social acceptance. You have forgotten the light of the world and how to turn it on inside you. You may be hypnotized by pleasure and subject and subjugated by the magnetism of others. You may have addictions to substances, be enslaved by money, and crave power and glory that you do not fully deserve. The journey through the underworld should teach you a lot if you survive to emerge again. Whoa! Oh, boy, howdy. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you've heard the old saying, freedom ain't free. It's very true. Very true. Now we're looking at the past energy. We have the Queen of Swords, upright. Wow. Okay. All the lower cards are swords so far. Three cards are swords. That's something else. Okay, here we go. So this would be, yeah, the past energy, and we got the Queen of Swords upright. Okay. Put this down here. I should probably move these up here a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, Queen of Swords upright. In the past, nothing should distract you from what you have chosen to do or from your duties. Be detached but not cold, impartial but never indifferent. Involved in what you are doing, but without emotional attachments that override your mastery. With this conduct, you will always persevere, avoiding the traps that would slow you down. Yep, that's in the past. Past energy. Good stuff, too. Okay. Now, the crowning energy... Wow, another sword. Six of swords reversed. Phew. Okay. All right. Let me, let me get this all. There we go. That's good. Six of swords reversed. So far, we're hung up on the swords. It's a lot of mental stuff going on here. Yeah, 
intellect. It's about intellect, journalism. Yeah. Six of Swords reversed. The past keeps you, and this is the crowning energy, so this is what's mulling around in their current intellect right now, I suppose. All right, here it goes. The past keeps you pinned to the ground. Even people with whom you have shallow relationships can keep you from growing and going where you better, where your better self would like to lead us. Let go of your soul burdens and sail away from those who hold you back. Woo Guardians are trying to reach them, big time. And there are some journalists that are listening. They're starting to come around. Some of them are. Even the ones on Fox. <laughs> Seriously, even the ones on Fox. Hallelujah. Okay. Now, so that was the crowning energy. Now this is the future energy. Voila. Oh, no. The star reversed. We're either getting major arcanas or swords. Future energy. All right. The star. Who are you really? A star that fell to earth or the person who caught the star and brought it home? You are both, simultaneously without contradiction. All beings in the universe are made of stardust, matter, charged by pure celestial energy. You are starlight made flesh. Taking is only fair if you don't deprive others. Be inspired by great ideals and not by selfish convenience or confused voices. This period may be long, tiring, and unsatisfying, but it will end if you focus on the distant light and believe in it, or at least believe in those who show it to you. That too is a type of hope. Wow. That's future. I'm gonna I'm gonna read that again. Starting with the second sentence here. It says this period may be long, tiring, and unsatisfying, but it will end if you focus on the distant light and believe in it or at least believe in those who show it to you. That too is a type of hope. Yeah. Looks like darkness in the journalism may be here for a little while yet. That's what it's sounding like here. But hey, you know, there's some on Fox that are actually breaking through. It's wonderful to see. Okay, the self-image energy is our next. Wow, the emperor reversed. I'm not kidding. We either have swords or major arcana on the board. This is one heavy duty message. The emperor, self image emperor, energy, the emperor reversed. And he's slumped down, you know. They are, they're, their shoulders are lowered. Okay, the emperor, hold on just a second here. Okay, it's number four. The major arcana. Here we go. Those who govern well 
know that responsibilities, burdens, and of course, rewards and honors must be shared. You should accept this as right and good. Measure your actions and do not overrule, even when those you manage may deserve blame and hardship and harshness. Harshness. Practice righteousness in speech, reward those who deserve it, and mourn of what awaits those who challenge your authority. Physical and mental rigidity are attitudes of a tyrant whose, sub whose subjects suffer under the heavy energy. Excess ambition command without having all the merits and ability to listen to the advice of others. These are only some of the dangers that threaten to make you lose prestige and dethrone you. Learn to prefer compassion and wisdom to dominance and violence. Wow, that's heavy. That was heavy. Mm -mm -mm. See, they know this. They're very educated people. They do know this. It's affecting all of us. And they know this. Okay. So now we have the energy that others see. So this would mean that they would not see this. Oh my. We have the tower reversed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if these are reversed or not. Okay. Now I'm going to say this one is upright because it's got more color in it. Sometimes that's about all I can go by. So that looks, that looks upright to me, that tower. Okay. This one would be reversed. It's not clear. This one's clear. So that's. All right, so we got, um, oh, yeah, this is what others are seeing. And when we're looking at the journalists, that's what it's talking about, right? Yep. <clears throat> okay, let's see what the tower has to say. Number 16, Major Arcana. <coughs> Excuse me. What appeared to be indestructible has been destroyed. What's, uh, let's see, this is number eight. This is what everybody else is seeing. I would think that the journalists are not seeing, maybe. No, well, some of them, yeah. So this is what it says about the tower, and then I'll read you the last part. It'll be about the uh, upright uh, meaning from the guides. Here we go. What appeared to be indestructible has been destroyed. What seems like a firm foundation, what seemed like a firm foundation has been shaken. There is a tower in your soul that must be knocked down. It has outlasted its usefulness. But what is the tower? Look well inside yourself and you will discover it. Be the instigator of change. Yeah. Be the instigator of change or suffer the shock of being blasted through it. Ew. 
Okay, here's the message. <laughs> this is the rest of the message, I should say. Uh -huh. Okay. The accumulation of negative emotions and fatigue should be transformed as quickly as possible without caring for, for now what the new form will be. Divine energy will fill the body, mind, and spirit of those who let themselves be struck by the sudden and uncontrollable action of transcendence. Surrender, surrender now, and later you will be rebuilt. I think that's a big old way of saying keep the faith. Believe. Believe. When you believe, you keep your vibration high. Yeah. What are you believing in? I believe that we're going to be better on the other side of uh, this icky energy we're going through right now. A lot of things have to be changed and fixed and uh, there's steps we got to go through and we got to be adults about it and we got to get it done. You know, our children depend on us. Our grandchildren depend on us. And our great, great grandchildren. Wait a minute, I don't have any of those yet, but I do got a great grandchildren. Got two of them. They're depending on us. So we're going to weather this and, you know, try to keep a smile on our face because the young ones need to see that. They need to see a smile on our faces. You know? There's a saying I used to do fake it till you make it. You know? Because sometimes it's just like that. We're going to be okay. Yeah. Nobody grows up and evolves without getting a few bumps along the way. So, just know and believe. Everyone is going to be better after we get through this on the other side. Our future will be better. So, believe. All right, now that I've gone off on that little thing, um, the next one is Guidance in Mourning. <laughs> we just had the tower. <sighs> okay, let's see what we're going to get. Now, let's just take a look at the... Um, this is for the journalists. I guess that's who's talking. Yeah. I mean, you know, any one of us that are... You know, talking with people, a lot of people and stuff. We've got to look at ourselves as communicators, like journalists. So, when you're when you're in like a journalist mode, when you're sharing or whatever, you know, don't forget to infuse it with uh, faith and belief in a brighter future. It will help everyone. Okay, I keep getting no. Guidance and warning, we got the Nine of Cups reversed. Okay. I'll quit blathering on here. Um, let me see what the book says. Nine. Oh, where are you at? Here we go. Nine of Cups reversed. The achievement of what you hope for is only partial. This is our guidance and warning. You will get more and better by leaving vanity, attachment to matter, and excessive expectations to those less noble than you. Perhaps you have wanted too much and carried superficiality about human relationships to the detriment of your goal. 
Okay, I'm going to read that last sentence again. Perhaps you have wanted too much and cared superficially about human relationships to the detriment of your goal. Oh, interesting. I think it's talking about when we get wrapped up in uh, everything outside of us so much that those that are standing right in front of us kind of get lost in that. Maybe. Anyway, that's what came to me. <coughs> Let's see what the energy of the outcome is. We've got the sun reversed. A lot of major cows in here. It's about our journalists. The swords. One heart. Yeah, court card too. All right, let me see what the sun reversed, what the message is. The outcoming en energy involved in this reading. And remember, nothing is written in stone. We are energy. Everything's changing all the time because of free will. You know? Some little dingleberry somewhere could be doing something that's going to change the trajectory of things we don't know so this is just for this moment in time is this snapshot and it's just about my feelings and how I'm reading this for entertainment purposes only okay sun number 19 in the major arcana Here we go. Prosperity and growth require radiance and strength. Both, di both dwell within each of us, and each drop of inner sunlight increases the collective warmth. Social and family union and alliance will reflect and magnify the positive energy you radiate. Let yourself be empowered. Now the reversal message here is you need to grit your teeth and wait for the light to return. You have <coughs> excuse me. You have exhausted your energy and may not have the strength to fight back or make needed changes just yet. New jobs or relationships or plans that require skill and large investments are discouraged. Beware of your beliefs and how you want to impose your will on others. Let others lift you when you are ready. Oh my. Yeah. Let's see. It's, it's not feeling too good for the journalists right now. To stand. But the unseen energy in all this is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is the unseen energy waiting at the bottom of the deck there. And that is a good <coughs> unseen energy to have. Because that energy tells us that family and emotional relationships are continuing continually improving and will bring you satisfaction that even you weren't expecting. You'll drink from the chalice of pleasure and quench the thirst of those you love. Enjoy this surge of generosity and happiness. Serenity, peace, and harmony are on the way. 
Let's see, I think I said something similar to that not too long ago. So, cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good read. I, I, I hope you think so, too. I enjoyed it. So, hope you hung in yeah, until the end here. And really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thank you. Sending you a gothy love and reminding you to love yourself and love the others. Be the light. Be the light. And take real good care of yourselves, okay? Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.